Last week we showed you the most up-to-date thing in home building, a steel frame house. But tonight we're at Hilton Manor, a house over 200 years old which Charles McLean has renovated and it's an absolute gem. When I got the house it was, uh, the windows were smashed in, the roof was caved in so I basically totally got it, ripped all the old ceilings down and knocked all the windows out and rebuilt it from scratch. Now this obviously was a labor of love. Why didn't you just knock the whole thing down and start again? It's a historical building and it was listed as number two, so everything I had done had to remain the same. So the roof I had to rebuild from underneath, then rebuild from above because I couldn't knock it down. And all the windows had to be replaced with wooden windows and so on. So, But it was a lot of work, but in the end, I'm very glad I done that way and be a piece of property now. So did you, with your windows, did you use mahogany or cedar? It's mahogany windows actually, and it's um, the same style as the old one with the sash weights. Hopefully they will last 60, 70 years like the old one's done. But what about, I mean, you must have found a lot of scraps of old wood and even termites, I'm sure. Yes, it was. Actually, there was termites everywhere, so I actually had to get the whole, the whole house tented. I was replacing a lot of the wood with new stuff, and you didn't want the termites to just keep on eating. Well, I understand you went back to what we used to do in the old days, where everybody pitched in Everyone to help. Everyone pitched in. I had so many friends help me. I had buddies that were carpenters that helped me with the wood floors. I had other friends that were plumbers and so on, and drywallers, and I've helped them, and they came and helped me, and it was, I was really lucky. So what is it about Hilton Manor that made you want to go through this major renovation? Well, I looked at many houses, and my brother-in-law, who's in, into real estate, showed me it, and I just loved it right away it was a nice piece of property it was the, it was abandoned and everything was caved in but i knew that me being in trade as an electrician i could do a lot myself and, and that is what we've done what sort of acreage are we standing on it's just under half an acre which in bermuda standards is, is a nice size lot so your your point of view this was going for another few hundred years exactly yes i say hilton manor who, who was hilton I'm not sure exactly the Hilton itself was to say Hilton Manor, but the, the person that built it apparently was a, a pirate, Pirate Jones, and even the rooms are quite large, so he must have been somewhat wealthy, because in the old house everything was small rooms, but they were quite big, and there's a lot of history here, lots of rum bottles I found when I was building it underneath the house, and all kinds of stuff. So being a level two house, I guess you have to maintain certain of the old lines. The outside of the house had to remain the same, the roof couldn't be touched, the windows could be replaced, but it had to be replaced with the same style windows yeah. and it had to be wooden and the same with the doors and everything. Cost-wise, this must have been phenomenal. It, it was actually, but buying the, that kind of stuff, the wooden windows is quite expensive, but you know, there was, I was, like I said, I was lucky. I had so many friends help me with the labor part of it. And that's in construction, that's the most expensive is labor. So. Now you can tell me, did you find any hidden treasure down I there? was looking, I was hoping, <laughs> but no luck. <laughs> 